Hey Libra and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for the end of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. This will not resonate with everybody, so please take what don't and or take take what does and leave what don't. All right, let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of February? I ask all messages that come through these cards be for the best and greatest good. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the card that tried to fall out a second ago. So some of you are... feeling some of you guys are feeling like you're trapped in a situation that doesn't allow you to be yourself that doesn't allow you to grow as an individual um, for some of you you could possibly be fearing um, jail time is what I'm hearing could be going to trial and you fear, you know, just having your independence taken away. Let's see. Okay. So, um, in your foundation, you guys are dealing with um, some family issues. Uh, you have a strong family backing behind you um, in whatever it, this is going on. In the past, uh, your emotions were kind of all over the place. Um, you weren't leading with your heart. You were emotionally drained. You didn't know what to do. Yeah. In the present, however, you're, you're impatiently waiting for something. You're not working on yourself, though. Uh, you need to uh, plant some intentions here and uh, try to remain patient in your guys' future. You guys have the death card. Going through some transformations. Um, yeah, I'll get clarifiers on these as well. I just want to get them out here. Um, Libra, your position in all of this is the hermit in reverse. So... Um, once again, needing to go within, needing to go, uh, take some time out away from the world, retreat from everybody else and just take some time to yourself. In your guys's environment, you have the three of cups in reverse. So feeling some disappointment, feeling some sadness, you could have been a part of a third party. All right. In your fears and hopes, you're you're fearing that your prayers aren't going to be answered. Um, you're fearing that whatever it is that you have been worrying about is going to come true or whatever you've been wishing for isn't. Your guys' outcome for the next two weeks is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Sun card. Clarified by the Five of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Uh, I'll go over the rest of those later. Okay, so let's go over your guys' um, shared energy, the sun. Things are being illuminated. Your path is being shown to you um, in regards to a situation that you had to walk away from or somebody walked away from you because the love just wasn't there. Uh there, it, this was an emotionally draining situation. You had a lot of tears over this situation, but the universe is trying to, um, show you that this had to happen for a reason. And it was to move you into the path that you're meant to take, move you to a place of where you can find yourself again, move you to a place of true love where it can find you. And I cannot shake this energy of somebody is, is going to jail <laughs> or somebody is worried about going to jail. Um, let's see what the, the, this is about. That's only for a certain person. So 
Let's see what the collective message is here. The eight of swords for Lee. Where are they trapped? You. All right. Yeah, you're feeling trapped by somebody or by some a situation. Uh, because you almost feel guilty, like you have to be there. Um, you offered your cup to them at one time. This person is very loving, very nurturing. Um, and, and they're very good to you. Uh, they love you a lot and you feel guilty for leaving because you just don't feel like this is where you're meant to be anymore. Um, so you're really feeling trapped by that situation. Uh, yeah, but this is a very, like, this person's very nurturing and that's what, that's what makes it hard for you to leave. Um, even though you don't feel like you can you can be yourself. You don't feel like you can invest yourself within this relationship. Um, it is being clarified by the emperor. So you do have that power. You do have the vibration to break out of this thought process because these are just thoughts. So you do have that power to move forward and to create whatever it is that you're wanting to create. Um, the seven of pentacles is clarifying the 10 of pentacles. So you have the opportunity for this happy family, for this, um, you know, the, the money, the family, the children, the white picket fence, you have that power. Um, you just have to plant those seeds of intention. Like I was saying, you have to work on it. It, it doesn't just appear for you. You have to put in the work of cultivating that garden. Um, the most important part before that seed breaks through the ground and shows us our progress is weeding out that garden, taking care of it, watering it, making sure it's a root. So you're in that right now. You water, you need to um, have faith in you and I'm peeking through the trees. You have to believe in your dreams. You have to believe in your goals your intentions and continue to work on them no matter no matter what and that's when you'll be able to attain that ten of pentacles that happiness that money that family that house that you want whatever the situation is for you um with the king of cups this is unconditional love but it's your emotions are all over the place and the nine of cups is um clarifying it which is odd because it's right under it but um this your wishes can come true. Your prayers are being answered. You're just not seeing it yet. You have to believe it's coming for you. You have to believe it's possible and, and to be patient. Your, um, your patience is growing thin with the five of swords here. Um, you're preparing to walk away from this, um, because it's in a growing, a growing period. You're not seeing the, um, finish line. You're getting very, uh, getting very restless. With the death card, it's being clarified by the two of swords. So you have a decision to make and you're holding off making that decision because you're fearing this transformation. Um, you're fearing what you have to let go in order to um, get what you want. You're fearing uh, the unknown, but that's where the beauty is. That's where the magic is, is in the unknown. So take that block, make a vision and all the universe to charm you into the, and the amazing cement for you within and find that inner life though. It's being clarified by so um, a time of pause is needed, a time of retreat. That is then when you will get your awakening. That is then will you that is when you will be enlightened by the universe to what is truly magically yours. And look at that, the bottom of the deck. I just happened to look, Ace of Pentacles. And and you will be so happy you did. Um with the three of cups in um in your environment. Yeah, the eight of, oh, look at that. The eight of swords flipped the other way. In your environment, um, there could be people around you that are trying to rain on your parade, um, trying to make you feel closed in, trying to make you feel imprisoned, like you can't leave, like you can't break out and be free, like you can't follow your dreams. People are trying to rain on your parade intentionally to keep you, to keep you stuck. But you are getting out of that um, with the eight of swords in reverse, following this time of pause following this hangman, this, this waiting period, the universe is like stopping this in its track. 
So everything can fall into place the way it meant to. So you have to this way to be in to go death says to form or send the E in order for things to be and the nine of cups here in your if you're Answered this. Sometimes unanswered prayers are the answer that we need. And it's being clarified by the Queen of Wands. So just be confident. Just be uh, um, sure of yourself. Just know that you have what it takes to, to, uh, to achieve whatever this is that you're trying to achieve. Don't give up. Don't quit working. Because when you quit working in the material, then the, it can't be brought in from the spiritual. So continue to work because the work is what is going to what is what is going to manifest this into reality. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Um, you need to continue to work on yourself in order for this to um, become a reality. Yeah, the star card is here, clarifying it. So divine timing is here. The time is now to put in that work. The time is now to heal. So when you heal, then these this beautiful thing can come in for you. So do not give up. Do not give up the fight. Continue that battle um, because you're going to come out of this financial um, hardship that you're going through. You're going to be able to come out of the dark and into the light. You're This is going to change. This is bringing you exactly to where you need to be, Libra. So don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Um, you're coming out of that time of darkness, that time of being abandoned. And continue to fight for your dream. Continue to fight for whatever this wish is. Because this wish is coming true. But you have to continue to put in the work. Because it, it, it cannot be just handed to you. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the sun clarified by the five of swords and the ace of cups in reverse. The bottom of your deck is clarifying that. With the eight of wands, you are receiving quick communication about this. About your new path. About where you're meant to go. Out of the blue, you're receiving these messages and it's going to help push you in the direction that you need to go in order to achieve whatever this is that you are wanting to manifest so bad. The five of swords is being clarified by the two of wands. Follow your own magic. Go within, figure out which path you want to take and that is where you will manifest. Um, the two of wands is about manifesting your dreams and you have to walk away from something. You have to lay your swords down and walk away from the situation that you feel trapped in, in order for you to get your dream come true, in order for your wishes to be uh, fulfilled, in order for your prayers to be answered, you have to walk away from this negative vibration, this negative energy that's around you, because you cannot create magic in the dark. You have to live in light and get away from this low vibration in order to make that magic uh, happen. And the moon is clarifying the... Uh, Ace of Cups in reverse. So um, this this emotional fulfillment is here for you, but you have to allow yourself to live in passion. Here it's not secrets. Um, here it is. Well, for some of you it is. For some of you, you're emotionally drained because somebody's keeping secrets from you, and that's the person that's making you feel trapped up here. But for the majority of you, this is your dreams coming true, your wishes, your hopes, emotional fulfillment from the divine. When you live your life in passion, the moon often represents that deep connection to source, that deep, passionate love of life. You will, that will return to you when you pick a path and choose to manifest your destiny. And that's going to be um, assisted with you. Um, somebody's going to reach out to help you and get you in that path of enlightenment to get you on the right path to follow your dreams, to create your reality, to create whatever this is that you want, whether it be a relationship, a job. Um, it doesn't matter because it, it's all coming in for you. Whatever you want to manifest, Libra, that is what is um, coming in for you when you go within and find your own inner light and follow that light. That's where it's going to lead you is to happiness, emotional fulfillment. All right, Libras, let's see what our guide, goddess guidance has for us. What's one card for Libra for the next two weeks? In love. What do they need? Thank you. All right. You, oh, you got two here. You got blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself. 
This is a process. Do not give up. Does that not so fit what I just said? Awesome, Libra. And your second one is inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you. Oh my goodness. Where did that card just go? Awaken your magic. Follow your magic. Awaken that goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Look at that. That is just exactly what I said in this reading. Amazing, Libra. You have to be patient with yourself. You have to continue to put in the work because you are manifesting your dreams. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the divine. They don't work magic overnight. This takes work putting you into the path of what the blessings you deserve, but it is happening. So enjoy it. You're blossoming and allow your inner goddess to shine. All right, Libra, I hope you have a beautiful next two weeks. I will see you next time. Love, light, and God bless.